Okay, guys, how to stay zen in unzen times. This is what I'm asking myself right now. So I just had a like busy family weekend and you know, it's something that always challenges me because I'm so in my daily rhythm and everything, you know, I have my schedule, I have my appointments, my rhythm, my routines, everything. And you know what I'm currently teaching myself is how to be more like Walter and how to just never lose my inner peace and my inner state of well stillness and feeling centered and organized while being in complete chaos and here's what I've learned so first of all every single time there's a family gathering I still wake up at like 4 6 a.m and just start my day with my routine meaning uh, I put myself together, get dressed into my gym clothes, I just like have my little coffee, journal, pray, manifest just to like really get into my usual morning state. Um, but also it made me aware of how much I like depend on my routines and how much comfort and just the feeling of being safe and secure and centered they give me. Just a second. Oh. And I'm just thinking, oh my God, I would probably go complete nuts without my routines. So, but here's the thing. Also, what I observed is that somehow I thrive under pressure and I thrive under the more tasks I get. Unfortunately, then obviously afterwards, I feel like I'm completely burned out. So I need to prepare everything. Like I take care of the cooking, the cleaning, organizing all the trips, because I always have the feeling no one else is doing it. And then I'm like, am I the only person who is like organized and just like has this, I don't know, straightforward clarity in my brain? Or am I just like completely nuts and not able to chill, you know, controversial thoughts. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to deal with like this over um, exhaustion or this over... I don't know, overdoing, you know, because I'm like, why does it always seem that everyone else can relax and enjoy family gatherings? And why for me, there are like so many thoughts going on in my head, like so much I need to plan, to organize, to prep. But I'm just thinking, but what would otherwise be? Would you just like sit here outside and know, in the grass and just like, where's the food coming from? Who's cooking? Who's doing all these things, you know? Yeah. Oh. So anyway, right now it's almost 6 p.m. Just dropped the gas. So I will clean the house a little bit and then I will finish my creation class because for this, right now, for my self-development, I decided to learn creation, to learn how to ride a horse and to raise investments for my software company. From tomorrow on, the pitch deck is done and everything else also seems to be going pretty well. Um, I have very tight schedule at the moment. So for example, in the evenings, like right now, I just clean the house. I prepare my gym clothes for tomorrow. I prepare like the coffee situation, like all my cups and everything, because honestly, it helps me. At one point I thought I might be autistic, but I'm actually not. It's just, I read so many books about self-development and what I really realized is that the more structured healthy habits and patterns you create for yourself the easier your days are and you seem so well put together and organized for the people but actually in reality for you that's just normal you know um so what i always do in order to be more organized and well focused and structured throughout the day is i always put my coffee cup and glass of water with a lemon which i need in the mornings next to the coffee maker i always put out my gym clothes the socks like a cozy sweater for the mornings um, well, okay, I have my candles and lighter in the bathroom always. Uh, I have my little couch corner with my journal. Everything is laid out, ready to go in the mornings. And honestly, just to like in the mornings, get out of the bed, go to the bathroom, wash my face, do my skincare, everything. And then just go to the coffee maker, then go to the journal and then go to leave the house for the gym. I don't need to think at all because I've already prepared all those steps. Wake up, well get dressed, bathroom, coffee, journal, gym. And then I come home from the gym and I have my breakfast and it feels like then I'm starting my day. So it feels like 
I'm just doing all these healthy things in the morning on autopilot, like setting my intentions, getting clear about what I need to do, organizing, having the structure. And I never thought that this is something like special, but now it feels like it's turning into a superpower because I just feel so not ahead of myself, but just, well, kind of ahead, but not in an egoistic, like arrogant way, but just like, wow, I really realized that it actually works, you know, one second. So yeah, basically what I will do now, after I recorded my little walk, no, not walk and talk, what am I talking about? My little evening talk, uh, self-reflection over after a busy weekend, I will finish my creation homework and then I need to schedule my day for tomorrow, what I need to do because I have creation class, I have horse riding, the pitch deck is ready, which means I can start sending it out to investors, which is super exciting. But I just want to, you know, like write down everything that I want to do tomorrow and the day after, like what I have to do and what I want to do just to get back into my routine. Because honestly, after like two and a half, three days completely out of my, well, routines, not the morning routine, but just day, day to day routine, I feel like I'm coming out of a laundry machine. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I need to reset myself and that's what I want to do. Especially because the next weeks until mid-April, we have mid-February now. So the next eight weeks going to be extremely wild. I will travel every second weekend, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to like thrive while I'm doing that and just relax. So yeah, I do my homework. I answer some emails, go through things I need to do for the next day. Then I prepare everything, then I have a mentor call, and then I'll have some din dinner with my husband, and then I will probably go to bed, read, and <laughs> pass out extremely early. So, yeah. Uh, and now I would really, sometimes I just wonder how someone who is the president is doing it, or someone like Barack, well, Barack, Barack Obama is the president, but I meant Oprah Winfrey, like how... I don't know, I would just love to like see how they did it when they were like on their peak of their careers, you know, like how were the days, how, how did they talk to themselves, how did they organize and everything, because I also have these dreams, I mean, I I don't know, I just, sometimes my confidence and self-worth is so low, but then I'm like, why, you know, why do I speak to myself like that, because on the other side I have those big dreams and gold and everything and I just want to be in service of people so I don't know I just think I'm in the middle of my journey and I just try to self-develop myself and learn as much as I can and observe and be a sponge but not in a negative way but like in a way that I just am on alert and aware and just listen and observe and then just keep what's needed and let go of everything else though I believe that you can also just let everything pass through you and not store anything which is probably the ideal state of enlightenment because the soul is always perfect and I just think that the things we call positive or negative highs or lows they are just I don't know they're just temporary and they're not really essential you know they're not soul they're not source soul and source cannot shake I guess it's just constantly the same so yeah, I'm working on that and um, yeah, that is it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick Monday evening update, which feels like a Sunday evening update for me, but it's already Monday. <laughs> so, well, let's see how I feel after a couple of days being back in my schedules. And yeah, if you have any tips how to surrender, let go and flow more, please share. <laughs> I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.